Good morning, folks. We've got several things to hit today. A channel milestone, volcano, magneto reception, solar cycle update, new findings about the Sun-Earth interaction. But we've also got space weather and we'll begin with the last 24 hours on our star. More M-class solar flares, mostly impulsive, erupting from several sunspot groups, northern filament released, a CME went off the incoming limb, and we've got plasma surges at some of the new active regions as well. You may recall that a CME was on its way to Earth, and we have some good news. Impact began overnight, and while a second component may arrive today, the initial impact was moderate at best. And not only that, but its magnetic orientation had it deflected by Earth's magnetic field rather than coupling to it. Minor geomagnetic storm conditions have cropped up, but nothing more. We'll be watching for enhancements today, and we'll also be monitoring for more eruptions. In addition to incoming eruptive areas and continued flaring at the existing sunspots, there are new spots and some incoming from the limb. Sunspot number remains high, and so does our watch for more activity. Quick note. Thank you, everyone. We have crossed the quarter billion mark, 250 million lifetime views on the channel. It's been an incredible 13 years here, and we look forward to continuing to bring you all the most important information on the Earth and Sun till they both decide it's time for the next age of our planet. We're off to Hawaii, where a few weeks after we first warned of increased magmatic seismicity, a remote region of Kilauea has erupted. It didn't last long, but lava began emerging from fissures in a region that hasn't seen activity in 50 years. Up next, a matters arising issue in nature has scientists dueling over magnetoreception in animals. Not about whether or not they can sense and use Earth's magnetic field, but about how they create the magnetic map in their brains. Kind of a fascinating bit of minutia management by those teams here. We have mentioned before that this solar cycle is already outperforming the last one. Not just in sunspots and solar radio flux, which you see top and bottom here, but in solar flaring. With this week's X-Class flares, we have matched last cycle. We've got a long way to go until sunspot maximum is over. We should break just about every mark set last cycle. Furthermore, when we take a longer time view of the sunspots back to 1900, you can see that we're still way below much of what has been seen the last century. And yet, the activity of this cycle has outperformed the auroral displays of everything that happened in this time frame. It's a nod to how weak Earth's magnetic field has become and the increased vulnerability of our planet. Speaking of which, I imagine that's also why the sub-auroral arc sightings and science are surging. The ongoing magnetic pole shift is allowing them to see more of it. While Steve is an electromagnetic feature at dusk, they now have also found the dawn version, westward versus eastern drift, as you can read in the article linked below. For as long as scientists have been studying this field, the changing Earth is now offering new windows into that which was invisible before. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.